this video, I'm going to show you how to get um, video capture up and running with processing. And so this could be useful for all kinds of projects where you want to bring video, um, kind of live video into your project. And so I'm just using the basic um, code for this that I found right on Processing's website. This is um, if you were to look at the video section under tutorials. Uh, so anyway, um, the so if we just go ahead and hit play here, you'll notice um, uh, there's an issue. Let me hit reopen. And I get an error here. Okay. Um, so that's that's a problem. And so this has typically happened with um, if you're using a Mac in Catalina or above. Um, I, oh, I should point out that um, to be able to use this import, um, you do need to go to tools, add tool, and go to libraries um, and find the uh, video. Uh, if you go into video, um, that's uh, I'm using the video library. Why am I not seeing it? Hold on. Video um, right here. Um, so you can just search video, um, GStreamer based video library for processing. Um, and all you have to do is kind of select it and hit install. I already have it installed, so that's not going to uh, allow me to hit it again. Uh, but it, it takes about a minute, um, then you're done. Uh, you shouldn't even have to restart processing. You can use it right away. And so anyway, the, all right, so I have this issue. Um, and this is kind of a known issue with Catalina and above on a Mac. Um, and I'm hoping that they'll address this in future versions of um, uh, processing. But as for right now, it doesn't seem to be working. And so a uh, way around it is I go into applications. I find processing in here. I'm going to right click and hit show package content. Um, you, well, you, know, you might have something like this. You open it up, go to the Mac OS. Open that up and you'll see this. Um, that's basically a command line tool for opening processing. So before I do this, though, this is important. You need to actually fully exit processing so you don't have a version open that was not opened with this command line. So, all right, so it's gone. So let's open it again. And that's going to open processing for us via the command line. And we need to do this because... Um, Catalina for and above for some reason does not give does not grant permission to uh, processing to use the camera on your computer so um, so you need to but it will grant it to terminal and so if you open this via terminal it, it thinks that you're just using terminal and um, when the video is kind of pinged it will give you the option. So you didn't notice that when I ran it last time, it didn't give me an option to say allow access. So let, let's try it. So I'm going to hit play. Hopefully we get the allow access. Uh, there it is. So processing would like access to the um, files in your document. Well, that's that's one of them. Um, and here it is processing app would like access to your camera. That's the big one. So we'll hit OK. Uh, it's, it's not going to work this time, but if we stop it, and start it again, we should be able to get the video to work. And so this is the video. Um, yeah, the brightness, contrast, whatever going up and down is not a, uh, has nothing to do with processing. That is the uh, kind of the crappy webcam that I'm using at the moment. Uh, and I'm using that because this machine um, is the only remaining machine I had that uh, I had not done this on. And if you've already done this, it's not going to prompt you to um, get the permission from the camera. So I wanted to be able to show you that. And so I apologize for this video. It's just an old webcam that I attached to this uh, computer. Um, anyway, you know, hopefully this is helpful. But that's great. That worked. Um, and from here on out, you should be good. So once you do this once, you shouldn't have to do it again. Um, you should be able to open processing um, the normal way. Although on some weird occasion, like I have one laptop where that didn't, wasn't the truth and I had to keep doing it this way, which is kind of annoying. Um, 
Anyway, I hope you found this useful, and please let me know if you have any uh, questions or, or comments. Thanks.